The first presidential debate is in the books, and there were plenty of fireworks between the president and Democratic nominee Joe Biden. Debate interrupted several times by the two candidates yelling and talking over one another. Several times, to say the least. Tamon Bradley joining us now from Cleveland with more. Tamon, good evening. Patrick and Micah, good evening. The insults came fast and furious. Uh, Biden called President Trump the worst president we've ever had, while Trump questioned the former vice president's intelligence. How you doing, man? A gentlemanly start moments before a street fight. President Trump and former Vice President Biden at each other's throats for 90 minutes. A fired up President Trump repeatedly interrupted the former Vice President and lobbed insults. And there's nothing smart about you, Joe. 47 years you've done nothing. At times, Biden showed he was annoyed. You picked be a surprise. The wrong guy, the wrong night at the wrong time. Folks, do you have any idea what this clown's doing? On the coronavirus, the rivals debated the country's response. It is what it is because you are who you are. If we would have listened to you, the country would have been left wide open. Millions of people would have died, not 200,000. A question about President Trump nominating Amy Coney Barrett to the Supreme Court quickly turned into a fight about health care. President Trump accused Biden of wanting to kick people off of their private insurance, while Biden warned the conservative-leaning Supreme Court will end Obamacare. Your party wants to go socialist medicine My party is and me. socialist right health now, I am And the they're going to dominate party. you. Moderator Chris Wallace asked President Trump about the New York Times report that he only paid $750 a year in federal income taxes in 2016 and 2017. Chris, let me just tell you something, that it was the tax laws. I don't want to pay tax. Before I came here, I was a private developer. I was a private business people. Like every other private person, unless they're stupid, they go through the laws, and that's what it is. He passed a tax bill that gave us all these privileges for depreciation and for uh, tax credits. President Trump was asked to condemn white supremacists, but he did not. I want to see well, peace. Then do it, sir. Say I'm it. Do it. Say it. Do you want to call him? What do you want to call him? Give me a name. Give me a white name. White supremacists and white like me to condemn? White proud proud supremacists boys. and right proud proud boys. Boys. This is not a right his wing own, problem. This own is FBI a left wing. This is a left wing problem. Ahead. When President Trump attacked Biden's sons, the former vice president unloaded. He was not a loser. He was a patriot, and the people left behind oh, there really? were heroes. Really? And I resent Are you talking like about Hunter? Hell. Are you talking about I'm Hunter? I'm talking about my son, Bo Biden. You're talking I don't about know. Heroes. I don't know, Bo. I know Hunter. Yeah. Before the first punches were thrown tonight, organizers predicted more than 100 million people will t would tune in. We'll see how many people stuck around to the end, and we'll see whether or not what they saw moved the polls. Live tonight in Cleveland, Tamon Bradley, WGN News.